Hi, my name is Gina Godby here. I'm running for Maricopa County Attorney because as a fourth generation Arizona native and a mother of two daughters, I'm concerned for our community. I've spent my entire career as a violent crime prosecutor and a bureau chief with the Maricopa County Attorney's Office, prosecuting some of the most violent cases in our community and training over 200 prosecutors before being recruited by the city of Goodyear to be their head prosecutor. And I look around and I see law enforcement across all of our communities, they're being attacked, they're under attack and homicides are spiking. We've had 120 homicides in the city of Phoenix alone to date. And the Maricopa County Attorney's Office is having trouble not only uh, recruiting, but retaining some of their, their attorneys. They also have made the decision to uh, downgrade a uh, high percentage of felonies and um, send them to the cities. They're only filing about 49% of their cases. Law enforcement has lost trust with the county attorney's office. The community has lost trust with the Maricopa County Attorney's Office. And this is a concern for so many of us. Law, by the county attorney making these unilateral decisions to downgrade felonies and send them to the city, they didn't even consider how this impacted our municipalities, how this impacted law enforcement, or how this impacted you and our communities. Their decisions have made our communities less safe and it's cost you the taxpayers more money. Look around you. Do you believe the criminal justice system is working? Is our homeless population getting better or worse? We've been a treatment first state for over 26 years and substance abuse and homelessness is not improving. We cannot keep triaging cases in our criminal justice system. We need to start holding offenders accountable and we need to make sure that when our, our homeless population steals to support their drug addiction, we cannot just look the other way and keep arresting and releasing them. We're not helping them, we're hurting them. We need to start um, enforcing the rule of law and, and, um, and actually holding offenders accountable. And we need to start supporting our law enforcement officers. I could tell you it's been hard to watch and not do anything about it. And as my dad once said, um, sometimes it becomes put up or shut up time. You either see these issues that are reoccurring and you notice that the system is broken and it's not working and you either just shrug your shoulders and you just continue the status quo and look the other way or you actually stop and you try to do something about it. You put your money where your mouth is. And that's what I'm doing. What worked 20 years ago is not working today. It can't work today. And I look around and I see um, that if we don't do something quick, this community that I love, this community that my family has called home for generations is going down that same path of San Francisco, Seattle, and LA. And I cannot let that happen. As um, the head of MCAO as county attorney. My vision is going to be to lead the third largest prosecuting agency in the country and make it a leader in finding innovative solutions to address these problems of today, homelessness, mental health, and substance abuse that are, that are straining our criminal justice system. I'm going to hold our criminals accountable, especially, um, especially individuals who commit violent crime, but I'm also going to start holding offend all offenders accountable who break our law. I am proud to have the endorsements of over uh, 40,000 sworn officers, almost 12, I think 12 and counting uh, law enforcement associations to date. And I'm proud to have the support of almost every Republican mayor and city council members across this community who know me, who have worked with me in the community as we work together um, to, do to deal with substance abuse and domestic violence and the other issues that are straining our community and making our communities more safe. I'm proud to have their endorsement, but there's one thing I'm missing. I'm missing your endorsement. I hope you learn more about me and you are as concerned about the future of this community as I am. Please go to ginaformaricopa.com and read my endorsements, read about my history. And after you do, I'm hoping that you will support me in the August 2nd primary by voting for Gina, voting for change, voting for an innovative leader and, um, and start saying the status quo is not working, that we need to do something quickly in our community. And there's a reason why law enforcement supports me and I hope to gain your support as well. Thank you.